Hey guys! Ooh. Hey guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are going to be doing my sorority recruitment experience. I always get a lot of questions. A sorority is a social club organization for women at a college, which you go through an interview-like process to join. I am an Alpha Chi Omega at Arizona State University, and I knew that when I was going into recruitment, I had so many questions. I watched every single YouTube video possible. So today we're just going to be talking a little bit about my experience, what I went through, what it was like. I will also be doing a video about tips and advice I wish I knew going in and these are like things that I think you're technically not allowed to talk about but like I'm gonna talk about these are things that like literally no one talked about and I really wish I would have known and then I will also be doing a video about like outfits inspirations like what to wear and what not to wear because I did not know what to wear going into this so those videos are coming little disclaimer this is just my experience everyone's going to have a completely different experience this video is not going to tell you exactly how it's going to go it's just how it went for me and another thing whenever I watch these videos there's always some hate comments on them because I just feel like people don't really understand sororities, which is like totally fine. But like maybe don't like leave hate comments because if someone wants to rush, like let them. It's not going to affect you if they decide to do it. Maybe like let's just be like real strong women and encourage each other to do what we want to do and not hate on each other and things that we are not, you know, just like maybe like and one last thing, I'm doing a giveaway on my Instagram if you guys want to enter. Okay, that's my little disclaimer. Let's get started with my experience. I'm going to start off summer going into my freshman year of college. So I'm a first generation Greek, which means no one in my family has ever been Greek, never been a sorority, a fraternity. I only knew one person in a sorority, but it was something that I was very drawn to and I really wanted to join because I saw this sisterhood. What I wanted in a sorority was I wanted real genuine people. I wanted girls that would have same interests as me and I'm not a very superficial person. I know I do YouTube, but like I'm not interested in brand names. Everything I own is from Forever 21. I don't care how many followers I have. I just wanted real genuine people that could possibly be bridesmaids to me in the future and be lifelong friends. That's what I went in wanting. I was also a little afraid that sororities would only want me because I do YouTube. I have followers and I was kind of afraid that that would make me more appealing than like me as a person and they would be more drawn to that than like actually me and want me for that. So that was something I was a little hesitant about going into which again like not really many people do what I do so that's not probably going to be an issue for most people. I just didn't want to be in a house that was very superficial and fake and that was just not at all what I wanted. So I did my research. I followed every single sorority's Instagram. I stalked so much. I looked at all their web Websites, I read about their philanthropies. I just did so much stalking and I feel like I knew everything Like I could probably see someone walking on campus and be like, oh, I saw you on Pi Beta Phi's Instagram You're a Pi Beta Phi. That was how creepy I was. I did so much stalking I wanted every single piece of information I possibly could get. So while I was stalking Alpha Chi Omega Which is the story that I'm in was very like appealing to me I really like their philanthropy which is the fight against domestic violence and they just seemed like really cool girls Like they seemed like really hot girls, but, like also nice and like not the kind that would bully me in high school You know, I went to a camp Carry, which is a summer camp for business students for ASU and I met a girl named Taylor there There's a bunch of us girls just like standing in this group talking and Taylor was a junior people were just asking her for advice And someone was like what sorority are you in and she goes, oh, I'm an Alpha Chi and I was like Alpha Chi Omega and she's like yeah and her and I became best friends She's the most like genuine nice person and every single thing that I wanted in a sorority was her like She's just the best person I've ever met. We always joke that we're soulmates. I just love her if you're watching this Taylor I love you to death, but her and I became really good friends Just want to say I was like not using her to like join Alpha Chi Omega It was definitely a sorority that I was very interested in from their social media and everything But I would never use her if that makes any sense. I'm talking my hands a lot. Sorry school starts and there's two events before rush actually starts There's passport and Greek block party passport is basically like a tabling thing where sororities and clubs can just like talk about their organization to people. I went with a friend, we talked to like a few different clubs and sororities. We talked to a bunch of them that we were both like interested in, like had stalked. It wasn't like that exciting. I felt like I didn't really talk because I was with a friend and I felt like she was kind of like overpowering me and I was like really frustrated. The next event that we went to was Greek block party and this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Not the best thing that's ever happened, it's a little dramatic. It was really great. It's basically where a bunch of sororities and fraternities were outside their houses and they were just like talking to people. It was really like a block party. I was there for four hours and I only talked to three houses. That's how long I was talking to those houses for. First house I talked to was actually the house I ended up prepping and I don't really remember like who I talked to or like what I talked about but I talked to quite a few girls and I just remember talking about like the rush process and like any questions that we had. The next house I talked to was one that I was really interested in. I talked to them for so long. I went with my friend but I actually separated from her and I had talked to girls, so many girls. Like every single time I turned around and someone would be like, have you met her? Have you met her? Have you met her? I remember I talked about who I am, like things I've accomplished, things I'm interested in, if I ever wanted to run for any positions in a sorority. And before I left to go talk to another house, one girl was like, what is your first and last name so I can remember you? And that made me feel like really, really good. I was like, wow, they liked me. 
And the last house I talked to was Alpha Kai, which is a sorority that I'm in. And I actually ended up staying there past when Block Party ended. And the first person I talked to was Amber, who is now our president. She was philanthropy vice president back then. We were talking about things and then Taylor came and she was like, oh my god, hey. And she introduced me to a bunch of people. And what I really liked about Alpha Kai was I was a person that had never met these people and all these girls were friends. And they made me feel like I was friends with them from the very beginning. Like I didn't feel like left out. I didn't feel like a new person. I felt so included and I felt like within like the hour of knowing these girls, I had known them for my entire life. And that was just something very special to me. I really felt like I was part of their friend group. Round one of recruitment starts and there's two days this, but you only go to one and you go to every single house in this day, which is exhausting. And you're only there for a short amount of time. Our round one was in like the Memorial Union, the gym, the student pavilion, because our sorority houses were not big enough to have that many girls in them. For every single house that you go to, you have a card with like your name, your PNM number, and then what round it is. PNM, that means potential new member. You line up alphabetically by last name and they check off to see if everyone's there. And let me just tell you, this was like the most a uh, uh, moment for me. My last name starts with the AC, so I'm first in line for everything. And when they open the doors for the very first round, it is like two lines of girls just going down and they're just like singing and dancing to songs. I actually like really hated that they do this. Like I don't like it personally. All the actives like hated doing this too. Like we had to like clap and it's just like not fun. But the idea is you feel more comfortable going into a loud room than you do like a silent room. So they want to like show their pride for their sorority and they want to be loud and make you feel welcomed. But they open the doors and there's just like these two lines of like go going forever of just like girls like singing and dancing to a song and I just like froze no one told me what to do I just like froze I was like because again I was first in line I was like do I walk down this alone like does someone come get me and I was just like Ugh. and my program who are people that have disaffiliated with their sorority to like help you with the process they're like Go. So I start walking down and a girl like meets you up front. She like shakes your hand, asks for your card, and then you like walk down this line of like people singing and dancing, which is so loud. And then you sit down at two chairs with them and you start talking. First round was... <laughs> I really hated first round. Everyone talks about how they have first round and they're like, I love every single sorority. I don't know which ones to drop. Because at every round you drop a certain amount of houses so you end up with the one at the end. And I had such a different experience. I actually like hated every single sorority. And that's not like me like hating the sororities. I just hated the whole round one because I am not into small talk. I absolutely hate small talk. You'll talk about simple things like, where are you from? What's your major? Why did you choose your major? Did you do any sports in high school? And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you have time to talk about. You'll be sitting down with one girl and then another girl will come up. The three of you will talk for a little bit and then the first girl will leave and then the second girl will sit down in the chair that the girl was originally. Does that make any sense? First round you talk to around two to three girls and that's pretty much it. And again, it was very surface level but they didn't really give you time to like go in deep and you'll have time later in the rounds for that. I was very frustrated the first round because I was told that you could see yourself in every sorority. It just kind of depends on who you talk to and I really didn't feel that way. I feel I feel like I only really liked three sororities. Two of them were the ones that I talked to at Block Party and that was because girls that talked to me at Block Party were coming up and they're like, oh my gosh, Keegan, hi, I'm so glad to see you here. I hope you love it. Telling the actor with the sorority, like, you're gonna love her, she's amazing. And that was just really nice that they were able to like remember me, have a little bit of a conversation with me and make me feel welcome at home. And then the other sorority that I liked, I didn't talk to at Block Party, but I talked to a girl named Sydney who I absolutely fell in love with. Oh my gosh, I was obsessed with her. That was pretty much my first round. And it kind of makes sense that the houses that I liked were houses that I already talked to because I was able to not have asked such surface level conversations and I felt more comfortable because I did know people there. As for my outfit, I am definitely the type of person to compare myself to people a lot and I thought I would be doing that but I really didn't. I'll be doing an outfits video so I'll go more into it but everyone was wearing like different levels of fancy. Like some people were wearing like bougie dresses and then some people were wearing ripped skinny jeans. I did feel a little overdressed in what I wore but I do think that it helped me stand out. So after first round, you drop two houses. Houses. Next round is philanthropy round, which is round two. A philanthropy is the organization that the sorority donates money for and puts on events for. Yes, we actually do more than take pictures, surprisingly. This day was split into two for me, so I went to some houses on one day and then some houses on the other. The first round, you're with your entire Rogam group and you guys are all together. And then from second day on, you have a little note with like all of the times that you're going to different houses and then you split up from people in your Rogam group, which is like to everyone. So you're kind of on your own. It was a little scary because I was like, I don't know which houses are where. But they they 
give you a map so it's totally fine. This is also the first day in the sorority houses. They remove all the furniture and it's just like chairs. That's it. I walked in and I was like, where's all the furniture? I got all the houses that I wanted back on round two, which is really exciting for me. So final round, they talk about their organization, how much money they raise, they play some videos. I didn't really talk a ton about philanthropy, which a ton of houses, which I really wanted to. We talk a lot about the same things that you talked about yesterday because you're meeting all new people. So you kind of do the little simple get to know me's and then you start to get like a little bit deeper. People from Block Party and then people I talked to yesterday were like still coming up to say like, hi, I'm glad that you're back. Like we're so excited. Like I hope you have a great recruitment, which felt so nice that people were remembering me, not just from Block Party, but also from the round four because they're meeting so many people. So the fact that they remembered me felt really nice. This round is a little bit longer. So you talk to more people in this round than you did. At Alpha Kai, I met another girl named Taylor. I talked to so many girls named Taylor and Alpha Kai, but I freaking fell in love with her. One of my talents is I can like list the entire like 19 kids and counting family like really fast and I did that to her and she probably thought I was so weird. I felt so comfortable that I was able to like show that like weird part of my personality and they still asked for me back so they obviously didn't think I was that weird. One thing I do regret going into recruitment was that I paid a lot of attention to stereotypes and rumors. One house told me that you just gotta cake the makeup on and I was like that is such a big turn off for me because I pretty much go makeupless like every single day. It just felt very superficial and I really think that me paying attention to stereotypes held me back and prevented me from liking house as much as I wanted to but I was kind of scared of having their stereotype be true. But after this round you drop four houses. This was just like a really uneventful round for me. There wasn't much going on. Sisterhood round is round three. Everyone told me that sisterhood round would be my absolute favorite and I ended up hating it. It was my least favorite round by far. I wore a long dress for this round and a lot of people complimented me on it. A lot of people told me that I shouldn't wear a long dress because that would be like weird and no one does that but I think it really helped me stand out and I felt so pretty in it and so many people loved it. In this round something that happens is they will play videos kind of showing their sisterhood and then they will all get into a circle around all the PMs and chairs. One person will step out and be like, hi, my name's Keegan and I discovered America. They will say things that like they've accomplished in the past and everyone will be like, oh sister, which is kind of annoying, don't get me wrong, but it was really cool to see all the individual accomplishments in this sorority and like kind of what makes it up, things that they're proud of. I just thought it was really interesting. Sisterhood round gave me a lot of clarity because when I went into it, I just was not sure like which house I wanted to prep. Prep is when you have two houses. I knew I wanted Alpha Kai for sure. They just stood out to me. They were just amazing. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to be the other one. I think I had six houses that I talked to, but I had three in mind to be my number two. One house was the house that I was really afraid of for stereotypes. I went in there and I had a girl that was kind of rude to me. I was talking about YouTube. I felt like she was like belittling me a little bit, which I mean, I'm a very sensitive person. I could have taken it too seriously. I could have taken it too deep and she didn't mean it that way. It totally could have happened that way. It just really hurt my feelings and immediately I just like crossed it off my list. Right after I went into that house, I actually went into Alpha Chi and I was so stressed and like upset and I was on the verge of tears the entire time and like being in Alpha Chi, I just felt so calmed and relaxed and it just felt like home to me and I felt like all the stress and kind of like the anger and sadness that I had felt from that girl being mean to me was just released and I just felt very supported. Another thing that I kind of forgot to mention is when you leave, the girls will start to like form their like clapping, singing, dancing lines that they did when you walk in and in every single house, I really just like wanted to leave like I kept looking at the door waiting for them to start singing and dancing because again I hate small talk in every single house waiting for it to happen but in Alpha Chi it was the only house where I felt like I didn't want to leave I was like can we stay a little bit longer when they would start seeing clapping be like should we go now and they'd be like no like let's just wait a moment like it's okay and Alpha Chi I was like dang it I don't want to leave that was just another thing that like really set me over the edge like wanting Alpha Chi the three houses that I was considering prepping for number two one of them was gone the other two I was very unsure about this I talked to my Rogams forever about this I was not sure one house I fell in love with a girl named Gabby who her and I are like really good friends now but I was so in love with her but I felt like I didn't know that many people in the house because I had talked to her every single round and I was in love with her but I didn't really know anyone else in the house I felt like and then the other house I loved everything about this house I loved their sisterhood I loved their philanthropy but I didn't make a connection with anyone that was really stressful for me because I really wanted to make a connection but there was just no one that I felt we really went in deep and we really got to know each other and so I was talking to my rogams I was super stressed and at the end of the day we came to the conclusion that if I were to have made a connection in that one house, it would be a for sure thing that I would prep them. I prepped that house, the house of Gabby. I really wanted to prep, but I didn't. Sorry, Gabby. Love you though. I didn't think that the house that I picked for number two was going to ask me back. I was like, I didn't make a connection with anyone. They don't really 
seem like they want me. People aren't coming back to me and like saying, hi, I'm so glad to see you back. I love the house, but I just wasn't sure if they loved me as much. Preference round is when you have two houses. They're the longest round. They're kind of like deep. You talk about like emotional things. A lot of people cry. I didn't cry. I'm not a crier. I actually got both houses back. So I got Alpha Kai and the other house that I wanted back, which was kind of surprising to me. The first house that I had was Alpha Kai. And so we're in line, we're waiting. They open up the doors and there's Taylor, the one I met at Camp Carrie, the person who was like my soulmate standing there. And I was like, I actually like screamed and I was like, oh my god, Taylor! Because every single round is so loud. But preference round is very quiet, it's very hushed tone, like the lights are very low, it's like very calming. And she's like, shh, don't be quiet. And I was like, oh sorry. Taylor prepped me, so in that house, Alpha Kai, you only have one person prep you. It was just great. I just knew right away that I was like, I want to be here, this is the house, like these are the people sitting around me that I'm going to be sisters with. Like it was just so clear to me that this is where I wanted to be. Every sorority has a secret ritual that they do for their preference round, which I'm not going to share because that's like secret rituals. Finished up at Alpha Kai and I just 100% knew, I was like, I don't even want to go to the other house. Like I just know, like that's really rude. So I still went <laughs> to the other house and I wasn't sure who was going to prep me at this other house because I hadn't really made a connection with anyone. And I walk in and I actually had two people prep me and they were the last two people that I talked to sisterhood round. It was just weird for me that going to that house because again, I love the sisterhood. I loved everything about them. I just didn't have a connection. Preference round is someone that you talked to previously that you made a really deep connection with. One girl we talked about nachos and really good places we like to eat. The other girl told me that everyone in the house is like, oh my God, we love Keegan. Like we want Keegan. We all want to meet Keegan, which just felt weird because no one from previous rounds had come up and like said hi to me and said that they're happy to have me back. It just kind of felt fake. Again, I think that's a great house and if I wasn't an Alpha Kai, I would most definitely be in that house, but like I also am like more of an Alpha Kai. So I love that house. I just knew I wanted Alpha Kai. So I put in my preferences and then I put Alpha Kai as my number one and then the other house as my number two because you rank them in orders that you want and technically, let's say you put house A as number one and house B as number two. If house B wants you more, you can get house B even though you put house A as number one. And so I was like, I want a suicide. And suiciding is when you single intentional preference. You only put one house, you don't put the other as like an option and if the first house doesn't want you, you don't get a house. My bro games were like, do not do this. And I was like, why not? And I'll tell you why in my tips video, so keep a lookout. But I really wanted to suicide, but I ended up not doing it. And midnight came around, I got Alpha Kai, I opened up the little envelope. I have an entire vlog of like, my sorority recruitment, me going through it, and then I also wanted like bid night, so if you guys want to see that, I was just so excited. My bid day buddy, they give you an active to kind of like be with on your bid day, so like you're not alone, and it was Taylor. It was so cute. This video is like a fan club for Taylor, I'm sorry. Bid night, we went to an alum's mansion on party buses, and then we had like a dance party, and they had like really good food there. It was great. And we just like danced and had fun happily ever after. It was great. Now I'm an Alpha Kai. I absolutely love it. It's been such a great thing for me. I've made so many amazing friends, and I really think that the girls in this sorority have really pushed me as a person and helped me grow a lot into the person I am now. And I'll be living in our sorority house. August 1st is when I move in. Really excited. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram and enter my giveaway. Get excited for the tips video and the outfits video I'm going to be doing. I also want to do like a Q&A video for this, but I don't know if I want to do it alone or if I want to do it with my sorority sisters because it'll give you more advice and more people, more perspectives. But let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. I love you so much.